Hey guys, I'm so excited to share this deck with you. I just literally broke the expanded format. You can literally draw your whole deck. It is amazing. I cannot put into words how amazing this is. You can literally draw through your whole deck, and this is how. You use ability Pokemon like Oranguru, Shaman EX, Dedenji X, and Unknown to use abilities to draw cards, draw cards, draw cards, and then you use items that help you draw more cards, and we got that spicy fire energy, that heat factory, you know what it is, we're going to draw literally our whole deck, so let's go. So our opponent has no idea what's about to hit them, we're looking for an opponent, we're looking for an opponent, our goal is to draw through our entire deck before our opponent can draw through their entire deck, so it's going to be a real challenge, A, to find an opponent, and B, to complete our goal against the opponent, let's go. Let's go. All right, who has the advantage? I have the advantage. I'm on a win streak. This deck is so good. It's so good. It's so good. So they're going to call the coin flip. I haven't really ever commentated a match or done any sort of content creation uh, with PTCGO before, so I really don't know how much of a play-by-play -play commentary you guys want. It looks like we have Shaman and Marshadow. Uh, both are Pokemon that you want to put down on your turn, so they're all bad starters, but that makes... Almost every Pokemon in the deck a bad starter, with the exception of a Ranguru. So we're going to start with Marshadow. Uh, our hand is busted. We've got Fiery Torch and Fire Energy. What? What? We're literally going to draw two cards by playing Fiery Torch. It's so good. So our opponent looks like they've got a Shaman EX and some sort of Trainer's Mail. Uh, ooh. What could they be playing? Could they be playing the same deck that we are playing? So far, the three cards that they've shown us... Are the same, could be the same deck? Nope, we don't run double colorless energy. It's probably some sort of uh, other sort of deck that tries to win by attacking. But little do they know, they have no idea that this is the second to last turn that they'll get to play against our deck. That's a very effective special charge, by the way. So let's start planning out our turn. We've got two Shamans, Fiery Torch, Lost Blunder, and Roller Skates and a Fire Energy. So the first thing we're gonna probably want to do is play that Fiery Torch to get that fire out of our hand. You can't see me, but I'm making a motion with my hand, sort of like a karate chop, ninja karate chop. So and they're playing Battle Compressor. They're putting Pokemon in the discard pile. Huge mistake. We play four Buddy Buddy Rescue. So first up, what are we? Oh, Gym Badge. This card is so good. This card is so good. Okay. Gym Badge gets us nothing, but we've got Roller Skates. So we, it's good to flip the coins first so we have more information. Uh, oh, another Gym Badge. I love Gym Badge. Oh, uh, yep, yep, another Gym Badge. I, I can do it. Gym Badge, let's see. Let's see. How many coins are we going to flip? How many heads are we going to flip? One heads, two heads. Two heads. Very solid. All right, so uh, the only good card in our hand here is Shaman, and we're going to need to get our hand down a little bit smaller so we can play that Shaman. Uh, the Buddy Buddy Rescue and the Roll Rescue Stretcher, not really useful right now because we don't have the Unknowns in play yet. So we're drawing an Acrobike, we're just drawing cards so we can play that Shaman. We got Unknown, we got Unknown, that will be able to draw us another card. But um, we can use Shaman for four, this is so good. We're using our ability-based draw to draw cards, Shaman for four. Woohoo! Alright, we've got so many cards. Let's uh, Roller Skate, sk flip a coin so we have more information. We're drawing more cards, this is amazing. We can uh, Unknown Farewell Letter. I'm adding those Buddy Buddy Rescues in our hand. Um, that's going to really mess with our opponent. Our opponent's playing Night March, so they're trying to get as many Night Marches in the discard as possible. But when we play Buddy Buddy Rescue, it forces them to uh, get a Pokemon from their discard pile. And honestly, this is probably the most opponent interaction we're going to have the whole time. So you can get that unknown back. We're going to draw so many cards. This is so good. Uh, we probably want to Roller Skates. Again, flip first so we have more information. Oh, we have so many cards. Okay. Judge Whistle, literally just draw a card... Uh, guys, we don't even play Judge. This is amazing. Um, we've got Rescue Stretcher. We're going to get more unknowns back. More unknowns! Okay. I really have to calm myself down at this point. So, um, I'm, um, we're trying to draw... We have that Fiery Torch in hand, but we have no Fire Energy, so we're probably trying to draw uh, some sort of Fire Energy. And there's our Heat Factory. That's our one stadium. Um, let's draw cards. Let's draw cards. Let's do this. Let's do this. Whew, I am really, really hyped. Gym Badge. I love Gym Badge. It's literally like free cards when you flip enough heads. Think, if you flip 10 heads in a row, you can draw 10 cards off Gym Badge. So we're trainers mailing for Judge Whistle here. Judge Whistle, literally just going to draw us a card. Literally draw a card. It's so good. We have to max it out. Absolutely. Okay. So at this point, our draw cards were, are pretty limited. 
Um, so we're going to start trying to loss blender, um, maybe to try and shaman, because we want to get our hand size down. So again, buddy buddy, uh, we're completely uh, undoing our opponent's battle compressor, which is really, really effective, because if our opponent has no night marches in this card, they can't do any damage, so we can get that unknown back. We're going to hopefully try and draw more cards. Really the goal is just to draw the whole deck. Let's draw the whole deck, and that starts uh, one card at a time. At the moment, it looks like we've got 21 cards left in deck, so we just got to keep flipping. Keep drawing, keep going, keep going. Super scoop up, super scoop up. <sighs> you can't win them all, guys. You can't win them all. So at this point, probably going to want a Shaman, so we're probably going to Ultra Ball away the, that Trainer's Mail and the Fiery Torch, so we can draw more cards with Shaman. So hopefully we can grab that Unknown, just put it on the bench, and then we can draw the card, we can Farewell Letter after we Shaman, so that we are allowed to maximize our Shaman setup for five. Very solid. So we finally got that Fire Energy, so we can Heat Factory. Uh, and we are well on our way to reaching our goal. We're going to Acro Bike, probably grab that Judge Whistle, just so we can draw a card. And really the key is to um, draw as many cards as you can. And that way you will have no deck left at the end. That is the goal. The goal is that our opponent can't... See, I think the worst case scenario is that somehow like, we draw all the cards in our deck, but then our opponent plays a card like N or Judge, and then we don't deck out immediately. So we really not only want to get as many cards out of our deck as possible, we also want to get as many cards out of our hand as possible. So we've got that and very annoying fire energy, but the thing is, I think we've already used up both our fiery torches. So... If that is correct, then we can really just get rid of the fire energy at this point. That might be something we want to Lost Blender away at some point. So let's keep drawing. We've got seven cards in deck. Now we've got six cards in deck. So really we just want to get down to as, as few cards as possible. We've got the Judge Whistle. We can keep drawing. We're going to draw a card. We're going to keep drawing. The Marsh Shadow is not good. Not good at any at anymore. Uh, we're going to Lost Blunder away that fire. We do not need it anymore. We don't need the fire. We don't need the fire. I'm going to Lost Blunder it away. And that Marsh Shadow, because Marsh Shadow, again, bad, because we're not stuck. So we got two cards left. But the thing is, like, I want to be able to play the cards. I want to have as few cards as possible at the end. we got one card left in deck. We're so close, guys. So I don't know what that last card in deck is, so I'm just going to Ultra Ball to see what the last card in deck is. And it's an Ultra Ball. So um, I don't know how to feel about that. We've already accomplished our goal. All you have to do is a uh, Farewell Letter, and then we'll draw the last card of our deck. Guys, we did it. We drew our whole deck. We drew our whole deck. Ugh. So now we can just bench it in. We have two cards left. There's no way that we don't deck out. We have reached our goal. This deck is busted. It's so good. It's so broken. You can literally draw your entire deck in one turn. This is amazing. So I'm gonna gotta, gotta give credit where credit's due. Um, this is a secret deck that me and my roommate freshman year of college came up with, so shout out 1024, you know who you are. And it says defeat, but really, I think that we are the real winners here. So congratulations to us. So of course, don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, I want you to smash that bell if you wanna receive notifications. Because I don't mean to brag, but I have posted several times over the past four or five years. So I will probably keep them coming at this pace. If not, I'll maybe a little less, but I am consistent. So definitely consider that when you're considering liking, subscribing, smashing that bell, or possibly sharing with all your friends. So thanks for watching. Secret deck, draw through your whole deck.